Ah, the beret. Simple, elegant, warm, but cool. Works with everything. And if you think it took you a long time to glow up, consider this. It took the beret over 200 years to go from workman's garment to military fashion to posh fashion, but that's okay. She had hustle, she knew that she was worth it, and she got it done. There's a couple of ways to wear a beret, but no matter how you wear it, you put it on like a regular hat and then you can either, you can pull it all the way down to make this cute little uh, beanie shape, or you can pull it up and kind of pinch it flat and pull it to one side like that. You can wear it to the back like this, <laughs> but that looks a little bit weird. Or I like to keep my bangs out of the beret just because I think it's cute, but you can also stuff them up in there. You can also try to put a beret on your dog, but even if you try to explain to your dog that the beret originally came from the Great Pyrenees Mountains, like her, she'll probably shake it off. Not me coming up with video ideas while watching Miraculous Ladybug to learn French. <laughs> Seriously though, Marinette's style right here is like, I love it, I love it so much. I've wanted to do a beret video for a long time. Currently in my fashion line, we are releasing a line that is based on bicycles and has some berets involved. So I'm kind of excited about those and very excited about that. All right, let's get going and put on some outfits that look cute with a beret. It was still cold outside when I decided to wear this, so I paired my short plaid skirt with a pair of over-the-knee boots from American Eagle. They're not available at AE anymore, but you can get them just about anywhere. I paired those with a pleated pink skirt from Shein, which I think actually is still available, and this oversized v-neck sweater that is covered in Freya's dog hair because she loves to get dog hair all over everything. I bought it a really long time ago, but you can get that just about anywhere and there's a version of it available on my website. Under that, I wore this pink crop top just so that I would have the pink at the collar just to match up with the skirt better. It is still freezing cold outside, so I put it on with this long wool jacket from Marble Japan. I do not think that this is available anymore because it's a really, really old coat. And of course, they went together quite well with the coup de grace, my beret. Here's the outfit again. Honestly, this outfit was so cute and I just felt so happy wearing it. On day two, it was raining outside, so my day two outfit got paired with a pair of rain boots, but it actually worked and it felt really cute. These cords from Joe Fresh are kind of on my do not buy list, to be honest. They are undersized by about two sizes from the size on the tag, so I had to work pretty hard to squish into them and I won't be keeping them. I'll be giving them to a much smaller friend. Paired them with a red tank top and a shirt from Joe Fresh, which I absolutely love and will be wearing all summer. It has stars all over it and it's white, it's chiffon, it's just super comfortable. And I wore the same um, pink crop top, which I wear under a lot of things. And again, of course, my beret. This outfit, I found it to be really cute and I will be getting another pair of red cords, just not these ones, obviously, like they just don't fit properly, I don't like the fit. And back to my rain boots. <laughs> Let's start with a comfy pair of white tennis shoes available on my website, some llama socks from Arden. These jeans are from American Eagle and I unfortunately spilled something on them before walking out the door and didn't notice until I was filming and you probably wouldn't have noticed now if I hadn't pointed it out to you. They are a bit old so they are a little bit big on me so hence the, the way that they stretch but I do find that I do have this issue with a lot of buttons that they gap uh, lately. Nowadays the green sweater is from Arden and this jacket it is from Shein. Uh, it's no longer available on their website, but hopefully it'll be back. I do wear a mask most of the time when I'm shooting outside, and honestly, I hate the lighting on rainy days. It just makes my eyes look so sunken, and they're not that sunken. Anyway, here's the outfit again. Super adorable. Honestly, it's uh, going in my favorite section. <laughs> Thank you. 
This was probably my favorite outfit of all. The boots are from Alden. It was raining again, so don't blame me for any lighting issues. The canned ham pants that make my thighs pop out are from Elo Postel. They can't be blamed. They're two sizes too small because COVID <laughs> has, has, has caused this problem for me. This t-shirt is actually from a vintage store. It's an original Clockwork Orange shirt, and the jacket is from Forever 21, which as you know is closed down, so you can't get any of this, but hey, let's just admire how cute I look in it. <laughs> also, the one aspect that I love about berets is that you can tuck your hair into it and make your hair look shorter at will, so they're great for that too. Outfit number five. The boots are from Arden. These tights are also from Arden. And then the dress is from Joe Fresh. The only thing I didn't like about it is that it's unlined, so it's got white on one side and leopard on the other. My bomber jacket is an old one from Forever 21. This bag is from Yes Style and of course my beret. I went to Hamilton, Ontario that day. So that's the Hamilton escarpment that you see underneath me and you can see the whole city from this lookout. So we had a great time hiking down the escarpment and checking out the Bruce Trail. Outfit number six started with my knee-high sneaker boots and then I have these thigh-high socks but I didn't pull them all the way up which I should have it was really cold and you could probably see the goosebumps one of my favorite dresses which is a pop art bodycon dress from Shein that just says wow everywhere and this mesh hoodie that you can buy on my website and also uh, a mask that I was testing for the website we decided not to buy we're going to uh, do a different mask we're gonna make one ourselves Really, really love this outfit. I had so much fun wearing it and got so many compliments. It was a really great time. It was cold, but it was totally worth it. All right, guys, thanks for watching my beret and my video. As always, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it out, tell your friends, wear your berets. Have a good day, have a good week. It's been great seeing you. Bye!